what I would do differently if I was going back to MRI school this time around? The first thing would be, I would not wait on my employer to cross train me. Now you may be saying, what other option is there? There are a lot of options out there that you guys have now that we didn't have back years ago. When I was trying to learn MRI, I was already a CT technologist and trying to cross train and find a facility that would cross train me was really hard because I don't know, maybe it was some politics in there. Maybe it was just, you know, hey, they just didn't have the need for it. But what I found was they did have a need. They needed MRI technologists in several hospitals that I worked at, but they would pick and choose who they wanted to cross train. Yeah, I don't know. I just could not get cross-trained. So maybe some of you are finding that to be a struggle. But I had to persist because there were not a lot of options. But I did do this. I purchased an online course that didn't come with clinicals at the time. It was very hard to find schools that actually gave you clinicals and gave you didactic learning. So I just went on and purchased the didactic part so I could educate myself. And in the meantime, hopefully I could get cross-trained at one of the many hospitals that I was PR in. Eventually it happened. After I got in didactic work in, I was able to kind of negotiate the fact that this particular facility that I worked at PR in and I was covering first, second, and third shift for them in CT, they could not seem to keep people in MRI. So I said, well, you know, just give me the opportunity. And you would have thought they didn't know me from Adam. I'm just being real here. This is what some technologists go through when they're trying to cross train. So that's why I try to encourage you to be smart, strategic, and don't wait on your facility to cross train you. If they do, right. If they don't, go get your own and then you can have options after that. And nobody has any kind of control over you because they cross trained you. Now, I was finally able to get cross-trained. They realized that they weren't getting anybody interested in coming to work at this hospital and particularly in that MRI department for a reason. The option they gave me though was interesting. Now I was an employee at this facility for many years, but in the CT department and worked flawlessly, no issues. And y'all, I'm just telling you the real of what some people go through to try to get cross-trained. So if you have the opportunity, take it, go with it, but make sure you choose the best opportunity for you. That was the best option I had. Well, they gave me 30 days to learn MRI. I had never scanned MRI before. I just did the book work. There were no schools out there. Yeah, 30 days was not enough. But you know what? This is what I did to make sure I did not miss my opportunity. I was there all 30 days except some Sundays. And I was there on Sundays when they got called in. I, I live close to the hospital. So I would come in when they called people in. The particular tech would call me and say, hey, I'm coming in. You want to meet me? We got this exam that I think you would like to see. Most Saturdays, Monday through Friday, definitely for the entire shift. They were only open till like six o'clock. I was there all day, every day for those 30 days. And after 30 days, I could scan on my own basic things. And over time, they realized, you know, I went on a set for my registry. I wound up staying there until the end. I mean, like really until I think 2002. And this is why I tell you all, not to bash anyone, but just to really help technologists out there. Use the opportunity that you have now that many of us didn't have then. And this is why I make the content so you can make sure when you are trying to elevate your career as an MRI technologist or anything else in the profession of medical imaging and radiology that you don't wait on other people to call the shots for your career. Y'all have facilities out there that are willing to cross train you. Maybe they'll make you sign for an extra year or two. And then you have schools out there that will actually allow you to come in and do your clinical's there, you pay them a lump sum of money. If you had the option to get all your didactic and your clinical work done at a place and say they charge you $2,500 or $3,500, but you're done in a couple of months, or you're sitting here begging this employer that you've been working for very hard and very loyally to cross train you and nothing's happening, which one would you do? I would love to know in the comments what you guys would choose. So hopefully this was helpful and you take it upon yourself to elevate your career and let me know what kind of certifications are you interested in getting in? Would you cross train or would you pay for it yourself?